Hi guys, it's Johnny Five here. It's YouTuber Spotlight. Let's jump right in. This is a tutorial on how to do Steph Papa's uh, intro animation. Uh, I'm Jonathan Holton, aka Johnny Five. So I'll show you how to do it in After Effects, Adobe After Effects. So, uh, so what she's got here is, whoops. Okay, so I saw in uh, Steph Papa's uh, tutorial, one of her tutorials, some comments, some of their fans, if you're one of her fans, a lot of you have been uh, wanting to know how to do her in intro animation for your own YouTube channel. You could do something similar. Well, I'll show you how to do everything uh, from the, the video uh, VHS uh, graphic overlay and the animation and everything. So we'll, we'll jump in and hit Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. So you can see she's got um, the graphic video overlay with the record button there and and it, her name appears, Steph Papas, and a cartoon image of her with some glitter. Um, you could have your own cartoon image of, you, of yourself for, on your YouTube channel and then your links to your Instagram and your Twitter and... Uh, so we can, so you see here she's got a, a graphic of a marble texture. You could use that or use some some Im other image so it make yours a little different. So we're gonna jump into Photoshop. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. <clears throat> we want to create a new new uh, pro project, nineteen twenty by 1080 so uh, create a new 1920 by 1080 graphic and then okay we're gonna click the the, the lock turn it off and we're gonna turn the background black so we can see the white text or sorry not the white text this so we can see the white uh graphic video graphic overlay there so we're going to make a box as you can see this is a transparent background that's called the alpha channel with the with the gray and white dots that's uh the che checker pattern that's alpha channel uh we we made it black so we can see the white box so we're going to make a white box with the shape tool there. We're going to turn we're going to turn it white the fill uh, to white or to to let's put the fill to and the stroke to white fill to uh, no, no fill that's that red line. Okay, so let's so make the the box uh, square here. We're going to turn on, go to view, and try to turn on the snapping. We'll show the grid. Let's show the grid so we can... Uh, and let's show the snapping. Snap to grid. Let's snap to the grid. And then let's make the, the square just like how she's got it in her video. So it's like like that. Make it as even, even as possible, like something like that. And the stroke, uh, it's at one pixel. Let's make this pix, uh, the stroke bigger. Let's see what it looks like at two pixels. Turn off the grid. Uh, where is that grid? Shh. Grid, grid, grid. Show grid, yeah. Uh, just, just turn off the grid just so we can see what it looks like. <clears throat> okay, that the the square is a little too thin. Let's make it thicker. Okay, let's select it. Select this 
the box and then let's make the the stroke about four that's not bad that's not a bad thickness or we can make it a little bit thicker let's make it like eight eight pixels it's a little bit thicker that i like it like that you can make it however thick you'd like now the next things uh she's the way she's got it um steph's got it it's in the graphic in the middle and the and the middle is uh cut out uh of the video graphic overlay so we have to uh we'll turn on the grid and we're gonna cut cut in the middle middle parts you'll see what i mean in a second here okay we're gonna select just a sec here okay i'm counting here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven well, i think there's 11 boxes squares one So about five down, five squares down, be about the middle, five and a half. So we've got the select, selection tool. So we're going to select about there and do the middle about there. Yeah. So about there, and then we're going to delete it. If you don't want to make this uh, yourself, I could... Have it uh, available for you to download and put in your own videos if you'd like. I can have it uh, for you for free that you can download for free and put it in your own videos. So we're going to convert to smart object. Uh, or no, we have not smart object. We have to. Yeah, that doesn't work. We have to right click rasterize. Rasterize. I got to click. Uh, rasterize and then now it's rasterize and pre press delete and now it's the centers is gone so we're gonna do the same on the top and bottom so use the selection tool you can you can eyeball it don't have to be precise but but do your best it's about two boxes in and then we right click to, yeah and we got the center out and we could turn off that grid so we can see it better so there we go there's the the video viewfinder graphic like it's a live video viewfinder so that's the box the lines we're gonna do now the record button so the record button is a, a red, a, a, it's a red circle. Oh no, we're going to type, let's, let's type record. Uh, she's got it in, in the, in the video. It says rec, uh, for record. So let's type in rec. And I'm using agency FB font. I'm not sure if I'll use that font. Let's try some other one. Aller. Yeah, I like that. We'll use that and uh, make it smaller. Let's make it uh, 100 pixels. Use the move tool and move it. You, you can move it and you can also move it with the arrow keys. Left, left arrow, right arrow, up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay, so let's, we'll make a new layer, call it red, red dot for the record button, uh, record circle. So we do a red cir a circle, and then you do the fill as red, and then the stroke, let's make the stroke uh, no stroke with the red slash there. That means no stroke. And let's make a circle, you can just make it anywhere. 
okay make make it like that and um, we want to make it the same size on the y and the x the y axis and the x axis should be the same size pixels so let's try 300 pixels on both and see uh, how it looks enter Oh, that's that's the wrong sorry we have to do it a W width and height I was like I was doing the that was the position uh, sorry about that so you want to do it let's 125 pixels and 125 pixels in the H W and H height width and height and then uh, it looks a little bit too big so we're gonna make it smaller Let's make it 50, 50 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, a little, little dot record button or not record uh, light. Put it next to the rec, record. We could uh, control T to make it a little bit bigger and then control plus to zoom in and then and spacebar for the M to move. So uh, we can scale it up a little bit there. That's good. Something like that. Okay. So you can move it with the arrow keys, left or right on the keyboard. Okay, looks, I like it. Looks good. Okay, something else. I think we need the battery. We need to put the battery icon. The battery graphic. So we're going to make a square box. Make it white. Okay. And stroke is zero, no stroke. So we we're doing the inside of this of the battery where it's filled. So we could duplicate this graphic, the battery box, duplicate it, and we could put this duplicate. Uh, the, it's the outside of the battery, and we'll put the stroke as white. So let's put the stroke as white, and let's put the fill as empty, as zero, as no no stroke. I mean no fill. So no fill, and let's make the pixels about, say, three, four pixels. Okay, five pixels. Yeah, let's try five pixels. Um, we're going to zoom in, control plus, plus sign, and uh, um, the space bar to move. Space bar for the moving of it. You can move. And uh, we've, we've got the, selected the outside of the battery. So we're going to scale. Scale. Uh, at control. No, that's not the way to scale. That's we want to scale from the inside. Scale from center Photoshop. Okay, to scale from the center, you select the, the side the ed and and hold down alt. Alt in Window or Option in Mac, and then you you scale out, bring it out as pressing Alt on Windows or Mac uh, Option on Mac, okay? And it'll it'll scale from the center.
Okay, so we've got it uh, scale from the center. It's pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like scaled out, uh, zoomed out here. I think it's a little bit, I think it needs to be a little bit longer. So we have to select the edges. Use this selection tool. Select, the, oh, that's, we want to use the other one, the white select, I think. Use the white one, the white, no. The, air, the pointer, the white one. Yeah, white select. Use the selection tool that is white. And we can select the point. And then press shift. Select the other one on the bottom. And we can double click. Double click. Okay, and yeah, we can drag it out. Press the arrow. I believe you can use the arrow key to bring it out to the right. Do the same with the in, inside of the battery and select bottom, shift to select both, and then drag it, arrow key to the right. And you can animate. You can, did you know you can animate in uh, After Effects? I mean, uh, Photoshop. You can animate um, in Photoshop. Uh, you could end up animating a battery's life like this kind of thing using that. But that's for another tutorial. Okay. So now we're going to make the 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 end of the uh, of the battery. The it's another uh, square. It's the end of it. Whatever. What's that called? The uh, positive end. Sort of the head. It's sort of the head of the battery. So we want that to be fill, no fill, and we want it to have a white stroke. Let's make it five pixels. I made it too small, so we're gonna select the select shift both, and we're gonna arrow key down with on the keyboard. Bring arrow, arrow key down, and that looks pretty good. Select those two on the left shift and then bring it to the left with the arrow key and line it up hopefully you understand what i mean okay so it's looking like a battery graphic let's zoom out zoom out control negative control negative and you'll see so we've got the different parts of the battery we're gonna group them together uh by right clicking, select them all, right click and mer merge. Oh, okay, no, let's convert to sharp to a smart smart object. And then we'll go to the right, click on it and use the arrow keys, right click. You can press shift arrow key to right. It'll go a little bit faster, okay? Try that out. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I like it. It looks similar to what she's got, what Steph's got there. Okay. So now at the bottom here, bottom right, I believe she's got... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... I'm, I, I got the, I double clicked the smart object. So I'm just getting the uh, lines here, copying them. I just copy them so it'll be fast. Make a, make a layer and paste it. So there's a little box there with, which has uh, got circle. It's kind of looks like a VHS tape. So it's a box that looks like a VHS tape. I'm using the arrow keys to the right. 
Just I'm just seeing if it lines up with the battery. Arrow key down. You can use shift arrow key down. It'll go faster. Okay. So that looks good there. And then we're going to add this, the center circles of the VHS tape. Some of you probably don't even know what VHS tape. You're probably uh, uh, not not old enough to know the, uh, the what, what the heck a VHS tape is. Maybe you do. If you know what a VHS tape is, type in the comment below. I know what a VH tape, VHS tape is. If you've actually seen the movie on it, let me know. I, uh, we used to have a movie, uh, what's that place called? What was that movie place? If uh, We used to go rent movies there. There's some movie pla places that, that rent VHS still. Okay, I made a circle. Uh, we made a circle, 25 pixels. Okay, it looks a little tiny, but we're going to move it with the arrow key. Okay, control plus to zoom in. Space, space bar to move. And then let's make it a little bit bigger. Control T to make it... To, to make, make it transform and make it bigger and then let's bring it in okay so let's duplicate it make it a little smaller first okay we'll move it we can use the arrow keys up up okay D right click to duplicate duplicate layer dupe okay and then mo move the arrow key right 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 shift Shift right, uh, right arrow key, and it'll be faster. So we've got the circles of the VHS tape. Okay, so if you don't want to go go through making this on your own uh, in Photoshop, I can supply the the graphic for free. Uh, you can download. I'll put a link in the description. You can download this graphic overlay. Uh, it'll have an alpha channel. It'll, it will be a .png. Okay, so you can download it for free um okay so that's the graphic video uh video uh vhs recording as from the live viewer viewfinder of a video camera okay so we're looking at her at steph Pap papa's animations she's got her gra uh, cartoon of her um let's play it again Okay, so it moves, her cartoon moves in. Okay. So we're jumping into Adobe After Effects. So, uh, make a new composition. Make it 1920 by 1080. Let's make it, uh, her, her animation is five seconds, I think. Zero, five. Zero six. Okay. Let's right click and import import the the images. <clears throat> okay, so okay, so we've imported the uh, video overlay. Um, it's imported. Put it put it into the into the composition so if you click that block box it, tur it turns it black the the alpha channel so we're going to look at, at uh, pexels www.pexels.com and look for marble texture if you want to have a marble texture you can get a free one uh royalty free uh marble texture where you can uh tip you can get it for free or you can tip uh, if you have some money you can tip the, the photographer or artist and then so i'm going to import the the marble so we're looking at our animation it looks like that let's play it again so it moves in 
kind of a move, camera move in, and the Steph Papa's uh, text writes on. Okay, so we're going to put uh, text. So I imported the, I, I put the marble texture below the, oh, uh, okay, so let, I'll put the marble, so I'll put the marble uh, below the video overlay. The marble's too br uh, bright, so you can't see the the video graphic overlay very well. So we're gonna we're gonna take turn the marble a little bit darker. Um, so what you go do is go to Effect, Color Correction, Exposure, and then you can bring the exposure down. Bring it exposure to the left to make it darker. To the right is brighter, to the left is darker. Bring it darker to the left ex for the exposure. Okay, so so the exposure of the marble uh, makes the video overlay more visible, visible, brighter. So let's play her animation, see how it plays. Steph Papas gets written on. So we, and her cartoon animation comes on. Okay. Okay, so let's type type the name. Um, names put. This is where you put your own name. You, you get the text text tool. It's the T on the top, very top of the tools, and you. Click in the composition that, uh, to put your name. I'm going to put my, my own name, Johnny5. That's my channel name. Well, my nickname. Okay, so Johnny, I'm going to change the uh, font. Let's see how she's got her. Her font is thick letters, big, very big, th thick letters. I'll, I'll make mine thick too. You can do yours however you like. So let's I'll change I'll use a different font. I'll use agency face uh, agency FB bold. Yeah, I think I like it. She's got black uh, outline. Um, okay, so I'm gonna cut this part out. What, what you do is you go select select the okay select the text go to layer layer style layer styles stroke so we want to put a stroke black stroke so layer style and you look for the stroke there it is click on the arrow to move it Reveal everything. Select black. So now we've got black stroke, just like Steph has her text. Let's make the text bigger. Size. Select it. And I'm going to space it out. See that? See that right there? You can slide, sl click the left button and move to the right or left. Move it to the right to, to make the spacing bigger. That's the VA, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it, it, it's the space of uh, bigger spaces. So let's see what it looks like. So something, something like that. I'll make a little bit bigger spaces. Johnny five, okay. I'm gonna make that five. I select the five, make it black. Let's see here. Okay, there's you gotta go select there for the black. Okay, so Johnny Johnny is white and the five is black. Yeah, I think I like it like, like that. And then
I accidentally moved the graphic overlay. I'll put a lock them up so I don't move them. Select the, just the text there. Let's see what the graphic uh, her animation looks like here. Okay, there's her. Her name is sh uh, shaking. It's got some shaking to it. Okay, let's let's not work on the on the name yet. Let's work on the beginning of the animation. Uh, it zooms in at the beginning, so let's uh, unlock it again. Let's work on the beginning of the animation, where it's the video video overlay, and we're we're gonna do some zooming in. We're gonna pre -com pre compose, so the the two layers the the uh, marble layer and the are one layer pre comp. Okay? So the video layer, video overlay, and the marble are one layer. So we can click on scale and on the stopwatch. That stopwatch is for keyframing animation. So you, we put it about three or three, close to three seconds. Uh, we were. And we want to animate the the size. So now select the keyframe, shift to select the other keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, then easy ease to to ease the motion of the uh, size. It's like the cam camera's moving in. It's just an effect. It's not a real camera move, but we're animating it. Yeah, I'm just getting the preview. Okay, so this is the RAM preview. Let's see the speed of it. Okay, so Steph Papa's text uh, name writes on, uh, comes on, appears about uh, after three seconds there. So see that eyeball? I turn on the 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 Johnny Five layer on with the eyeball on the far left. Now it's you can see it. So we're gonna put. Um, transition let's go to effect transition let's try linear white okay linear right the arrow to the right let's see what it looks like with transition completion okay so it moves from from the start to the end at the end it's a hundred at the beginning it's zero percent So let's put negative 90 degrees so that the arrow is pointing to the left. And let's put the – so let's put it at 100%. Let's see what the feather does. It's not really feathering. Oh, it's not really feathering. Kind of gives a great gray look. Um, okay, let's put it to 100% so it's not visible. See that stopwatch? Click on it like that to put a keyframe. 
and then go a couple seconds forward and put it to zero percent so that the text is visible so if you press u click u and you'll see the keyframes see the keyframes select them press the left button and drag to the right select both right click keyframe assistant easy ease to ease that animation okay so let's see what it looks like let's we'll have the ram preview let's press the play the ram preview see what it looks like i think it's going a little too fast for the text so move the right one to the right a bit more just so it's longer the, fur the further out uh keyframes are from each other the longer it'll be okay let's go look at the animation so it's something like that there's some uh sparkles spark sparkles coming on make the text reveal and there's her cartoon self and then there's her instagram and twitter okay okay let's put a solid we're going to do the sparkling uh, glitter thing. Go to uh, effects, simulation, and then particle world, CC particle world. This is available in all After Effects. See if you put the birth rate up, you get more of it, of the particles. Just turn that grid, grid guides off. Um, click on the grid, turn it off. Horizon, horizon turn it off. Axis box, turn it off. Let's see what our particles look like reference there's the particles it's kind of purpley white okay so we'll go to after effects and uh, so here we're we looked at the, we looked at Steph's particles. Uh, it's glitter, kind of a white, purpley sparkles. So let's try to make it a CC particle world look like that. The particles. So they're kind of white with purple. Kind of purplish. Purplish, bluish, purple. Okay. In particle type, try stars. Let's try shaded spheres. Nope. Faded sphere. Oh, faded sphere. Yeah, fatal, faded sphere looks kind of what she's got. Yeah, faded sphere, definitely CC particle world. You want to use that. That looks really pretty. Um, I'm a guy, so I, I think I might want a different color. But yeah, the lines is more. Faded sphere is definitely the one. Try these other ones, but. It's good to test out everything. So far, Faded Sphere is the one, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, faded sphere, I think. Yeah, look at that. It's nice. Looks similar to it. Uh, birth rate, bring it up. There's more, makes it more. Death size, bring down the death size. Uh, In the physics, let's make it direct direction access, axis, um, velocity, velocity moves it, moves it around. So gravity. She's got it. Particles kind of come from left to right. So gravity, let's put it to zero. Velocity, let's bring it up. Producer. So that moves the X on the left and right is the X. Do you move it left and right? Position Y moves it up and down. Radius, you can change the radius. Undo. Okay, we're going to just jump ahead. I added some resistance, 0 0.8 resistance. Got velocity at zero point four seven. I put extra at zero point seven four. Velocity at zero point. So it's good to RAM preview and uh, just let it play. And you can tweak the the settings of the different settings uh, while it plays in the Adobe After Effects CC. You can live. You can make changes uh, as as it's live previewing. So I I, I had made the gravity uh, negative, so it goes up a bit the the particles. The particles seem to go fast. Let's make death size bigger. Oh no, let's not make it bigger. Death size smaller. Death size burst size zero point three eight. Death size zero point Death size 0 0.01. Let's try that. Burst size 0 
let's put the birth rate to 1.6. Let's keyframe birth rate at the beginning of where the text up, uh, is about to appear. Let's put the birth rate at 3.3 or 3.3 around there. And then keyframed back a few keyframes and put it to zero. So we're gonna animate the position X, the X position. So about there is where the text appears. I'm just making the birth rate bigger so we can just see it. I'll I'll go back to that first keyframe of the particles and make it zero so it's zero particles birth rate at the beginning. And we move the uh, X position. You know what? I didn't keyframe the X position. I have to keyframe it. So so it ends about there at the end and then let's move it to the left where the text begins so it's moving to the right as the text appears Keyframe uh, the birth rate and at 3.3 and then move keyframes. Uh, you page down, page up and page down is to move keyframe uh, frames forward. And you want to end it with zero birth rate. hope that makes sense there's lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to do use CC particle world but uh, hopefully this makes sense I'm I am describing what I did do in a recording the recording the video you're seeing is as was recorded earlier uh, the audio was was just noise so I have to redo the audio that's why I'm uh, describing what I'm doing. <clears throat> Let's change the color to a little more blue. A little, maybe a more of a something like that. So you you put that CC particle world on a solid. You 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 make a solid layer. So her her name shakes a bit there. Let's try to do the name shake, I think.
so the particles dissipate. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we can animate the the word the letters to be shaking. I just moved the anchor point. There's the pan behind tool that's to move the anchor point. See that little circle? You can put it in the very center. And then click that arrow and go to the text. Text. To, uh, animate the shaking. We'll do some animator. Go to the animator at, and click add. Add pro, uh, selector, I think it is. We want to click selector. And then rotation. Add selector wiggly. Let's make it wiggle. The the text wiggle. And so. Click the arrow and it will reveal these properties. <clears throat> Maximum 100 percent, minimum minus 100. Wiggles wiggles per second is 2.0 per 2.0 wiggles per second. 31, 34 wiggles per second. Based on characters, it's not wiggling at the moment. Let's try words. Let's 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 move the rotation a bit. So let's see if what happens if we do that. Move the move the cursor. Let's play RAM preview. So it so moving the rotation a bit makes it uh, wiggle. Okay, so now let's look at her. She's got her cartoon animating in. We imported my cartoon. We put it the layer on top. Okay, there's a cartoon uh, that comes from Character Studio, uh, Character Animator. That's Adobe Character Animator. I'm just using it as an example. I may have scaled it up. I'll use the point, pointer tool, drag it down to the bottom. R, press R to do rotation, and let's rotate it to the left a bit. And let's move it down a bit. Then we can animate the position. Let's see what she does. Uh, okay. So it moves in as the as the name comes on. Okay. So when the name comes on, the, ca the cartoon character comes on. Okay, so stopwatch for keyframe. Okay, move it forward. That's where you want to end up uh, in that position. And then go uh, to the right so that it starts from the right. And it'll move to the, to the left there. So we could select... Select both. Select both. Right click, key, key assistant, easy ease.
Okay, so these particles, or we have to make them not visible, visible at this point. So birthright, put it to zero. Okay, so we're very, almost done here. Something like that. Yeah, that's a good speed. Okay, so I got uh, Twitter and and uh, and the uh, Instagram logos from Google. Just a Google search, right click, saved them and imported them into After Effects. And make them about the same size so i'm trying to key out the using key light you, you go to effect keying in the key light uh at, for this one actually let's not use key light we'll use uh keying linear color key Selection tool, select that. Matching tolerance up a bit. <coughs> there we go. That white uh, of the Twitter is gone. So we got to put some white be behind the Twitter bird. Solid, make it white. Let's put that uh, there. Okay. Use the, use the mask tool and mask on that white layer around the bird so that you have uh so it's just visible behind the white bird okay that's what a mask does so let's let's right click and pre-compose so it's one layer for the twitter and the white layer white layer so uh okay so it's one it's the twitter icon it's pretty big, so we're gonna have to make it smaller. You can move it to the left here. How how uh, Steph has it. You press S for scale. Scale down. Make sure that link is is on. Make sure the link is on. Okay. Make it make it the same size as, as the Instagram one. You can use click. You can click the arrow keys on the just like Photoshop. Use the arrow keys up. Up to move it. Arrow key on the on the keyboard, and then let's check out here. We've got just got the name. It's the same as the title. Okay, so I'll do that. So that let's animate these uh, social media icons. I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move the particles and the my name up with the arrow key. Make sure they're both selected. You press Shift to select both. got it up higher like that okay uh, I'll select a duplicate my name so I can put it for the social media words social media name there duplicate it right click no control control D to duplicate Click Control D. OK, 
okay gonna select it make it little small letters put my I'll put my actual uh, Instagram Instagram uh, name make it smaller make sure it's all selected so you can make it smaller yeah something like that and then could control D to duplicate that again for your Twitter Twitter name and then the arrow the arrow key to move it down the duplicate you can use the arrow keys shift arrow key down shift and then the arrow keys to move the that to Twitter so as you can see it's the same animation as the uh, as the as the name title intro name Steph Steph's uh, Steph's social media names don't animate but we've got it animated here on this one which could be cool if you if you want to have it like that or you could have it static like how she has it kind of thing um what else this preview I can't get the box up I'm gonna have to undock it oh preview right click I got a right click preview to undock okay bring it up undock it just means it undocks from the menu you can it kind of floats okay press play there we go it's animating So it's it's similar something like that we could we could turn off the the wiggle of the uh, social media if we want or we could offset it by moving them the layers to the right a bit so that they come on at different times so they animate on at different times That makes it more dynamic. Okay, here we're gonna we're gonna animate the position of the Instagram. So the X is the first one. It's the first number. So you move it to the left. It'll move the Instagram to the left. Off screen left. Okay. See the X is the left one. Move it to the left. Select and move to the left. The left, left, left. Okay. So that animate will animate it on to that position. Um, Steph didn't animate her icons, but I, I am here just for fun. You can do that if you'd like. Right click to make a keyframe assistant and easy ease. And then copy. I'm going to copy that for the Twitter. Oh, no. You know what? Copying the position is going to put it in the same position. So we don't want to do that. We have to undo. Yeah, I made an error there. It puts it in the same position. So I got to delete the Twitter Twitter uh, keyframes. So I'll delete them. Undo. So Twitter will just... So when the Twitter name appears, just about appears, let's put a keyframe there and then move page up, page up a 
about three or four frames so that the Twitter moves move to the left move to the left but that's three three frames be three or four frames okay uh oh I have to make it bigger I think I made too many keyframes here I'll delete it Okay, make sure the Twitter is off screen to the left. The left. Here we go. Okay. All right. So right click, keyframe assistant, and easy ease. <clears throat> you could put layer styles on those social media media icons logos if you want to put a layer style shadow a drop shadow you can do that if you want okay I'm just fixing the I Keyframe didn't work for some reason. Oh, the Twitter is stuck on the on the side here. We've got to fix that. Delete it. Got to redo the Twitter. Okay, Twitter. Both there. Okay, I'm going to move that and where it ends right there. Move the key frame there. It's freezing here, sorry. Okay, move it to that spot in time. We're gonna move three or three or four frames to the left. For some reason it didn't work. Okay, it seems to be working now. Select both, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So let's see if it worked. Okay, it worked. So some for some reason I, I, I messed it up. Okay. So let's uh, RAM preview. So it looks pretty cool. The text, uh, all the texts are moving, shaking. put the time time so that we do the full the full animation so we'll RAM preview the whole thing RAM preview that blue bar kind of gray bar on the top it's, it, it's got a blue kind of bar it's 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 what renders time indicate uh, I don't know what it's called sorry Okay, we're gonna select the, the social social media text, and we'll take off the uh, at, the shaking. Twirl the the arrow. See those keyframes? Go to uh, effects. Oh no, that's the linear way keyframes it is the transform text animator yeah animator one yeah so we'll delete that select the animator one and delete click delete okay so now it won't be shaking 
do the same for the Twitter one. Twitter text, go to the text, animator, delete. See, now it's not shaking. We'll RAM preview and you'll see. So that's how it looks like that. With no, no shaking there, but okay. So uh, I hope that helps you uh, figure out how uh, Steph Steph made her her animation for her channel. Uh, it's something like that. Um, you can now you know how to do it for yourself. You, you can use Adobe Creative Cloud. I'll put a link that you can get get it. Um, uh, also that uh, video overlay I'll have a link in the description as well you can download use in your own videos your own video intro animation and you can uh, for your character anime character cartoon for your own cartoon you could draw your own cartoon of yourself or if some of your family member or friend is really good at cartoon you can draw you or if you have some money, you can hire someone on Fiverr to do a cartoon of you. Um, either way, but it's kind of fun to have a cartoon of yourself for your uh, your YouTube intro. And yeah, that's that's how Steph did it. And I uh, hope you like it. Uh, please subscribe, hit the bell for more. I do I do comedy videos and visual effects and motion graphics, and also. Show, teach how to do it as well from time to time but I mostly do comedy videos uh, joke joke videos very short videos my name is Johnny five and I did a video my latest video is Pac-Man video uh, check it out it's the the real ghost of Pac-Man and you can learn how to do the out of box thumbnail tutorial as well it's kind of neat uh, the hands out of the thumb of the thumbnail I hope that helped you oh by the way uh, if you want to add music like like um, Steph has what what you can do is get free music from YouTube your YouTube channel so you go to your YouTube channel here studio beta and you want to go to other features on the left and I believe you go to audio library Okay, and then you got all this free, royalty free, you're allowed to use uh, music and sound effects, and it's, it's supplied by YouTube, so you can use one of these, one of these songs, so I hope that helps you all, I hope you liked it, and uh, my name is Jonathan Holton, Johnny Five, Th thanks for watching, and high five!